Turkey marked a critical advancement in its defense technology ambitions with the official commissioning of the 6th KAN fighter jet prototype. This move, confirmed by the Turkish Presidency of Defense Industries, SSB, signals intensified momentum in the nation's bid to field an entirely domestically engineered fifth-generation stealth aircraft. The KAN program, led by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, stands as a historic first, representing the country's initial venture into homegrown combat jet development on such an advanced scale. The KAN fighter, Turkey as premier indigenous stealth platform, has been built to serve both air dominance and multi-role combat missions. Developed without foreign partners, it's tailored to meet the operational needs of the Turkish Air Force while asserting national self-sufficiency in aerospace innovation. TAI, under SSB supervision, initiated work on the jet in 2016, focusing early efforts on aerodynamic simulations and systems architecture. A full-scale mock-up debuted internationally at the 2019 Paris Air Show, showcasing Turkey as emergence in the elite circle of next-gen fighter developers. Progress accelerated thereafter, with taxi trials in 2023 and a successful first flight recorded on February 21, 2024. By mid-2025, the KAN project had reached a complex phase of testing, with six prototypes either completed or in development. Each serves a specific purpose in the JET's validation plan. The first airframe was used to establish basic flight performance. The second and third units tested onboard electronics and sensor arrays. Prototypes 4 and 5 are entering flight trials to stress test agility, combat maneuvering, and weapons integration. The newly commissioned sixth prototype will be tasked with a broader range of assessments, spanning high speed testing, adverse weather resilience, aerodynamic refinement, and full systems validation. The development of the KAN is organized into a block based production model allowing for phased capability rollouts. Early production variants will provide foundational stealth and integrated sensor packages. Later versions, such as Block 30 and Block 40, are expected to feature an entirely indigenous engine currently under development in Turkey. This engine initiative is pivotal, aiming to remove dependency on imported propulsion technologies and reinforce strategic autonomy. In terms of specifications, KAN is designed to meet or exceed the standards of current fifth-generation platforms. It features stealth-optimized contours, internal weapon storage, next-gen AESA radar, infrared tracking systems, electronic countermeasures, and AI-augmented combat data processing. It's configured to dominate both beyond visual range battles and close-quarters engagements, with the flexibility to strike ground targets with surgical precision. When placed alongside global peers like the F-35, F-22, Rafale, Eurofighter Typhoon, or Gripen E, the KAN distinguishes itself with a sovereign design strategy. Unlike the Rafale or Typhoon, which retain external weapons and reflect 4.5 generation capabilities, KAN is built from the ground up with stealth as a core requirement. Its internal weapon bays and native sensor fusion put it in conceptual alignment with the F-35, but without the external control and export limitations that come with multinational consortiums. Compared to the Swedish Gripen E, which excels in network-centric warfare but lacks full stealth, KAN offers a balanced edge in survivability and autonomy. Future-proofing is a key feature of the JET's architecture. The platform has been designed with modular subsystems to allow midlife updates in radar, engines, and mission software without needing foreign clearance. Unlike the F-35, which is tightly bound to a global support network and proprietary tech infrastructure, KAN provides Turkey with total control over how, when, and where the platform evolves or is exported. The order of a sixth prototype isn't just a technical milestone, it is a strategic declaration. Turkey aims not only to modernize its air fleet but to join the ranks of nations capable of designing, testing, producing, and fielding fifth-generation fighters on its own terms. As the KAN nears operational readiness, it positions itself not just as a national asset, but as a future contender on the global fighter aircraft market, offering an independent, high-performance alternative to established Western systems.